Hey, what's good, viewer? This is Spanky. Today I've got the Pokemon Tomi Takara Mudkip versus Pikachu 2 set. I really like this set because it feels really nostalgic to me. I, it's the way the packaging design looks like something I would have picked up when I was like 13 years old. I, I just really feel nostalgic when looking at this. There's a couple other figures to the set. We got the uh, Trico and Torchic up there in the top right. And these two are actually much larger figures. I wasn't too interested in those. I just don't really like the overall design. And I'm not really seeing the necessity for the articulation in those. They don't really seem to go well. And what I mean by that is you can tell here that Halucha has articulation in his wing right there. But if you were to move his arm, it really wouldn't look right. Because his wing would split. And, I mean, that's not really possible. And if you lifted his leg, you wouldn't really even be able to get Luxio into running proper running pose and these are just little things that I notice as a collector that don't really appeal to me they do have a three pack of the original Ivysaur uh, Ivysaur Charmeleon and Wartortle there's a three pack and those have really dynamic poses and from what I've seen they don't have articulation but I really want that three pack I haven't seen it yet and it has the same kind of uh, box art style the nostalgic nostalgic box, box art style that I like uh, I'm just kind of rambling on, but check these out at Toys R Us. It's the only place I've seen them so far. Toys R Us also has some, they have some cool, uh, more trainer's choice sets up there. They have larger uh, Groudon and Kyogre and Lug Lugia type stuff. So check that out um, before, <laughs> this is starting to get really long, so let's just open it up. Let's first take a look at Mudkip here. He's got a really menacing face on him. Uh, I like the way his legs are kind of out forward out in front of him, kind of like a dog ready to play, or in this in this case, he's uh, ready to attack, and his tail straight back. So the mold's really good there. It's spot on. It looks like, you know, it looks like he's ready to attack, and this is supposed to be an attack-ready mudkip here. So they got that straight, and then even at his face, look at around, let's turn around quick. Looking at his face, you can tell that, yeah, he's, uh, he's ready to attack. He's got that, you know, frowny face on, and even the eyes are menacing and the way they sculpted those and painted those on so they did a really good job here and on the on bottom I'm not really sure why there's a hole down there there's one in the Pikachu as we'll see soon uh, I just not sure what the plant that is it didn't come with the stand or anything uh, at least it's on the bottom and not anywhere else so you can see it but it is kind of a uh, it's weird to me not a huge problem what is a huge problem here is the branding we got the Pokemon and all that Nintendo crap, and this is put on the back of his head for some reason. Uh, I just, it's just a reoccurring problem with Tomi Takara toys. I don't understand why they do that, but the more I complain about it, the less it gets fixed, kind of thing. It's just me complaining, complaining, complaining. Next, we'll look at Pikachu here, and his pose is pretty dynamic. I'm really digging that in the way his tail sticking out there. The paint apps, those all look pretty freaking awesome. I'm not seeing any mishaps at all. It yellow on him is pretty flawless then we see his face as he comes around here and just the way his arms are overall posed he looks really great he's well 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 very well done and his eyes and his tongue even sticking out there this is a really well done Pikachu you can tell a lot of uh, love was put into this Pikachu from head to toe and or uh, in this case from ears to toe even the tail so yeah I really like this set this is a really nice set and the branding's on the back of his tail here. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah. And then here's the hole on Pikachu for some reason. I'm not sure what the reason for these holes are. They do stand very well by themselves. Mudkip should be, but Pikachu stands very well by himself. And as I say that, he falls over. So no problems there. Uh, lately, this trend of Tomi Takara, it's been a really good trend. We get some really solid figures here. And the Trainer's Choice figures being sold at TRU. I've been spot on. I hope this is something uh, Tomi Takar Toys they continue to do with the Pokemon series. These poses are just great. Uh, hopefully we get a little bit more than what we get here. I'd really like to see some Totodile Toys or Cyndaquil. We haven't seen those three starters in a long time. Let's bring them back. Let's do something. They need some love because those are some of my favorite starters as well. You know, and also I want to see Charizard and Bulbasaur of course and as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, look for that three pack of Ivysaur, Charmeleon, and uh, Wartortle. So check out that, find that, and the other trainers' toys. Toys. As soon as I find them, I'm going to do my reviews on them. So until then, next time, I appreciate you watching. 
uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And until then, peace out.